Hello, pain stream. How you doing? You can't really see it. Maybe you can see a little there. This is my New Jersey mug. Dunkin' Donuts was having. I had some mugs. You can see it when I do it like that. I like it. I like it. I bought it when I was in Connecticut. I did not like Connecticut. Sorry. But, you know, people in Connecticut don't like New Jersey either, so. What's funny is that people from Connecticut say like, ugh, New Jersey, ugh. People in Jersey are like, good. We hope you hate it here, don't come here. But people in Connecticut, when you, people from New Jersey don't like Connecticut. People in Connecticut get so mad. Oh, how could you not like it here? Ugh. Um, because of that. <laughs> Anyway, I tell you, don't worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food, drink, and clothes. Don't, doesn't life consist of more than food and clothing? Look at birds. They don't need to plant or harvest or put food in barns because your heavenly father feeds them. And you are far more valuable to him than they are. Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? Of course not. Your Heavenly Father already knows all your needs. And He will give you all you need from day to day if you live for Him and make the Kingdom of God your primary concern. Matthew 6, 25 to 27 and 32 to 33. That is beautiful. That is so true. If you don't like the Kingdom of God idea, then, um, you know, your higher spirit make um, your focus, put your focus on the higher sensibilities, right? It helps, I promise. God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left to share with others. As the scripture says, godly people give generously to the poor. Their God deals De their good deeds will never be forgotten. 2 Corinthians 9, 8 to 9. If the Lord be with us, we have no cause of fear. His eye is upon us, his arm over us, his ear open to our prayer. His grace sufficient, his promises unchangeable. John Newton. I will be your God throughout your lifetime until your hair is white with age. I made you and I will care for you. Isaiah 46, four. Yes, so stop resisting. Stop resisting. It's resistance that makes you upset. It's resistance that makes you sad. It's resistance that um, makes you unhappy. Don't resist, just go with the flow. You don't know what's on the other side. And that's what's unsettling everyone this year. Woo. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Everybody wants to know what's going to happen. What's a new normal? What's la 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 la. Bottom line, this is a new normal. Don't wish away this year because next year could be worse. Just live today. Just live today. And whatever omniscient thing that's over all of us, there for you whether you like it or not or whether you want to admit it or not or recognize it or not or believe it or not is not that nice that's nice I think that's nice God warms his hands at man's heart when he prays John Maysfield M-A-S-E-F-I-E-L-D if we have enough food and clothing let us be content 1st Timothy 6-8 Yes, be content. You have enough food and clothing. I'm quite confident. If you're watching a YouTube video on your phone, magnet like magically transfers me to you some magical way, you're probably good. So just be content. Your father knows exactly what you need even before you ask him. Matthew 6, 8. And he knows what you need. That's why when you do stuff you don't need, he says, gotta get rid of that. 
gotta make room for the good stuff and you're like no 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 I want to hold on to this thing that ain't doing this relationship this job this something that is not what I need but I want to hold on to it and then it blows up in your face and then you go ah oh, that's sad I lost my job I lost my boyfriend I lost everything and God goes, yeah, I know, because it wasn't the right thing for you. I'm trying so desperately to help you get the right thing for your life and your happiness, and you're just fighting it. Stupid. So don't fight it. Go with the flow. Let the Lord's people show him reverence, for those who honor him will have all they need. Psalm 34, 9. Don't forget to do good and to share with those in need, for such sacrifices are very pleasing to God. Hebrews 13, 16. And what a great message for today. Today is very important to you. All right. Have a great day. Love y'all. Yeah.